Hey peeps, I got really excited about the Teardown conference over the last week. It was in Portland, it was fantastic, and I had the chance to interview in person Amitabh Srivastava, who is the creator of Programmable Air, which just finished funding on Crowd Supply at an incredible 123%. I'll let Amitabh tell you about it himself. Okay, Programmable Air is this open source gift for controlling pneumatics and soft robots. So it's currently crowdfunding, it's got a couple air pumps and valves and a pressure sensor, it runs on Arduino Nano. Um, so you can, you know, code functions like blow, suck, vent, read pressure, and Ooh. it allows you to just control uh, tiny inflatable soft robots. Like, like Pimax! Pimax! <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Oh my God, so many cool makers and hackers, like Alex right here, <laughs> and Sophie, and Helen. And I was like, expecting it to be very much more like hardware focused and tech focused, uh -huh. but it was like, you know, art as well as like just you know creative uses of technology so much software Paul was there which was super cool yeah, oh my yeah. god uh, and just you know so many kind of like new things coming out which <laughs> are not in the Twitterverse yet yeah, but I came to know about it was so nice yeah um, and the puzzle hunt the Ooh. puzzle hunt was amazing oh my god got you to know the city of Portland mm. which is actually super cool and like I don't know hip yeah it's like nerd well, hipster vibe yeah, yeah. It, a little bit Plus for like everybody. Having stuff for people to do in the evening. Yeah, Great. exactly. And that's not like you know just going to bars and uh, getting drunk. Yes. Like so, you brought a bunch of really cool demos. What, what was your favorite one of those? What? Oh, the origami gripper. Oh but, yeah. But, I mean, so it, this is such a cool story. The origami gripper came out of MIT C sale it, earlier this year in March, and I'd been wanting to make one since forever. And randomly at ITP camp, I ran across this person who was folding, folding some origami. Ooh. Turns out it was Aditya Bhatt who's like an expert at origami and has designed many original works. Wow. And I was like, hey, do you want to do this thing? And like 48 hours later, we had a functioning prototype. <laughs> so cool. That's like a two gram gripper that can lift a one kilo Coke bottle. So now we're just trying to, you know, make more improvements in that and see what, what cool uh, things we can do by attaching it to a robot arm or something. That's awesome. So, what did you make it out of? Uh, it was an uh, overhead projector sheet <laughs> that was laser etched and then folded into a magic ball origami pattern and the balloon uh, as, as a skin over it. So when you pull a vacuum, the magic ball goes from like being a funnel, being a tube, uh -huh. and then that just puts a lot of force uh, on whatever you're trying to grip and just from all different surfaces. So this is kind of the stuff that uh, soft robotics is absolutely amazing at mm. is applying distributed force uh, on something. Unfortunately, your Baymax there has developed a bit of a tear. What's the most? It's it's so difficult with soft robotics to get things. But oh, there we go. Yep. Like so, the thing with soft robotics is that this kind of stuff uh -huh. because it's not like. It, it, the chemistry of materials and stuff is still being developed. It's such a nascent field. Right. It's very difficult to make something that works the same every time. And if on top of that you have to like control the pneumatics of it as well, it goes out yeah. of whack very quickly. So How many PSI you can put it under? It? Yeah. So I was like, it, it's difficult enough to make the soft robots and make them work that controlling them should really be handed off to a board that uh, you don't have to make yourself. Yeah. And that was kind of the inspiration behind Programmable Air. Programmable Air! Yeah! <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Alex. Yeah, I'll catch you at the next, uh, next event. Yeah, see you at Supercon, everyone. Hell yeah. <laughs>